as a viewer of this film, as you begin to ponder the implications of this information, one has to ask and now we ask. So is this a pro-life film? Are you pro-life? We are pro-choice. Okay. Absolutely pro-choice. Um, uh, I knew this would come up and we're, we're delighted to, to answer this question because it's clearly walking, the movie walks into this territory. Sure. We address it in the film yes. briefly. Um, and I think Stephen and I both feel that this film brings us beyond that debate mm -hmm. into some into a new paradigm into a new territory because what the film is really doing is trying to br you know bring forth the, the information that's coming out that's and and with armed with that knowledge uh, we need to move forward as a society and both sides of the debate have good points mm -hmm. life is precious but it's not only precious just at birth, it's precious all the way through its life. Yes. So what is the quality of that life going to be? And that's where the pro-choice aspect comes in. Another thing I wanted to say as I was thinking about this upcoming interview is when I was pregnant, I had many talks with my OB and other doctors, and they said, do you realize we don't have accurate statistics on miscarriages because so many chemical pregnancies, which means the ones that, that maybe you mistake as a period or a heavier period than usual, you know, it, it was so early on. It is a miscarriage, but you don't count it as one. We haven't measured all those. So I could, I could have been pregnant earlier in my life. Mm -hmm. And if that had happened in my 20s, um, I, I would have been very glad that I had the opportunity to choose. You know, I mean, I, I can't say exactly what would have happened, but boy, I, I can say that I wouldn't have been ready at that point in my life. I understand. And mm -hmm. as we were talking earlier, I mean, there is no right or wrong answer. I just, I had to ask because yeah, yeah. This, this film, the information is so powerful. And I think it will resonate with a lot of people. They'll go, well, well, that just makes sense. I mean, yes, there is some big ideas, some of the information may be jarring, but it makes sense. Speaking of jarring, you know, there, just say go ahead. Thing about it. Um, I think we are pro-choice, which means we have great respect for the people who choose, who, who are pro-life. I mean, I think the film, um, as progressives, we affirm a tremendous amount of what the pro-life people are talking about. And we have some discomfort with our own, our own, you know, political um, peers and who we agree with. I mean, I think that there, there, that what needs to happen. And I've talked with a couple of very political friends, saying, "Where do we stand? What, what do we do about this movie? Because it's addressing a very complicated issue." And they said, "This film." Two people said, "This is film brings us into the next paradigm." It's really the next paradigm beyond where we now stand, which is a kind of civil war with this country about how to do this. And I think that the idea that the truth sets you free is a very critical aspect of this. It's hard, some of this truth, but the truth sets you free. And one of the, I mean, I think that, so I think that where the film really will work, where we will focus on it, and I want to mention one other thing, is that we are starting to design a television show that is, this sort of becomes a pilot for, sort of, a reality television show about pregnant women to keep moving this information on, that we want to have this dialogue out in the open, where we can all, and we're going to, we want very much to speak to the pro-life people, we want to very much speak to the pro-choice people, because I think the film addresses issues for both of them, and hopefully we can come together in a way as time goes on.